Your monthly subscription box from PostFlyBox.com includes all the materials needed to tie a dozen flies, along with some extra goodies. The cartoon hopper is a somewhat wild-looking fly that not only imitates a grasshopper, but could also be mistaken for a dragonfly or even a small frog. It's practically unsinkable and when stripped along the water's surface causes quite a commotion, kind of like ringing the dinner bell for bass and panfish. The cartoon hopper starts with a long shank number four hook. Get the hook firmly secured in the jaws of your tying vise. Although not essential, a rotary vise will definitely save you some tying time with this pattern. For thread, load a bobbin with a spool of black unithread. Get the thread started on the hook shank, leaving a little bit of space behind the eye. Once the thread is well established on the shank, snip the excess tag off close. Pull two strands of black tie floss free from the rest and align their tips. Lay the ends against the near side of the hook and take thread wraps to secure them. If you have a rotary vise, pick up a whip finish tool and use it to do a three or four turn whip finish to secure your tying thread. Then, swing the vise's bobbin cradle into position and bring your tying thread up and over top of it. This will allow you to get hold of the floss and spin the vise head to wrap the floss very accurately and quickly around the hook shank. The idea here is to build up a slightly tapered body on the fly. When you near the end of the floss, use your tying thread to secure it and snip the excess off close. A drop of super glue placed on the tie-down area, then covered with wraps of tying thread, will help to ensure the floss doesn't come unraveled. Although you can use scissors, a double-edged razor blade works exceptionally well for tapering one end of one of the green and black foam segments. Before positioning the foam on the hook, place another small drop of superglue on top of the shank above your tying thread. Now, place the foam black side down on top of the shank with the tapered end extending about a hook gap back from the hook bend. While gripping the foam tight, start taking thread wraps to secure it. Begin with loose wraps, then add more pressure as the foam starts to compress. Once bound down, it should look something like this. Although not essential, adding a drop of super glue to the thread wraps on the underside of the body, then taking more thread wraps through the adhesive will really help to stop the foam from spinning around the hook shank, even with aggressive casting. Get hold of the razor blade or scissors once again, and this time trim off the front portion of the foam so it extends just a little ways past the hook eye, like so. For the hopper's legs, pull two strands of barred rubber leg material free from the rest. With the strands extending just past the back end of the foam, anchor them to the top of the fly with a few tight wraps of thread. Then, pull the rubber legs down on either side and take a few more thread wraps to secure them there. Olive strung saddle hackle is used to cover up the thread wraps and to add some reality to the fly. Snip off the lower webby and fuzzy part of the feather, leaving about the top half. Strip a quarter inch or so of fibers off both sides of the stem. With the shiny side of the feather facing you, lay the bare stem against the near side of the fly and take thread wraps to secure it. Bending the bare stem back and taking thread wraps over top of it will ensure the feather won't pull free. After snipping off the excess stem, get hold of your hackle pliers and use them to grip the feather's tip. This makes it much easier to take touching forward wraps with the hackle feather over top of the thread wraps. Anchor the feather's tip with tight wraps of tying thread, then snip the excess off close. Lift the front portion of the foam up and bring your tying thread forward so you can take a few wraps immediately behind the eye. Once again, get hold of your whip finish tool and use it to do a five or six turn whip finish behind the eye, seat the knot well, and snip your tying thread free. A drop of head cement applied to the bare thread wraps on the underside of the hook will ensure they don't come unraveled. Gel superglue is used to attach the eyes to the fly. 
A small drop applied to the foam on either side is all that's needed. Use a bodkin or utility knife to pick up one of the 3D eyes and apply it to the near side of the fly. Make sure it's stuck down well, then flip the fly over, pick up another eye, and apply it to the far side of the buck. Ideally, the eyes should be mirror images of each other. If necessary, snip off just small amounts of the rubber legs, both front and back, to even them up side to side. And that's the cartoon hopper, ready to fish. Thank you.